Hello there Apps Spy viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Pentumble. Uh, Pentumble is a physics platformer and I'm this little dude. Hello, I'm all squidgy and round and I look like a robot. And I've got to get him from one area of the map to the next. I've got to go and pick up a star. Uh, his level two, so uh, I can squidge to things. You see I'm all sticky in that. Uh, but I can also jump using this button on the right hand side of the screen. There we are. So, as I jump, I'm sticking to things, so immediately, there's no skid or anything like that, there's no run and then jump and then skid and then trying to figure out, oh, have I got to the end of the ledge? No, I haven't. You just suck it on, because uh, you're like a sort of rolling octopus, I suppose. Uh, and uh, I can also stick to things upside down like that, that's kind of cool as well. So, here I am, I'm uh, getting from one area to another and I've got to avoid these little sores, otherwise I'll explode. I'm rated out of three stars at the end of each level, depending on how fast I've managed to complete it. And on the right you'll see that there's a little key sign there, and that's a little area, and if I grab the red key, and then hop on back, you'll see that they're gone, and I can get to the star. Good job! Two, two, three, uh, two out of stars, out of three. Fantastic! Done. Whoosh! So the game then gets progressively harder, um, and um, it definitely has a kind of meat boy quality to it. Uh, like each level can be extremely challenging. You've got to pick up different keys to unlock different areas, and uh, and um, figuring out how best to uh, figuring out how best to move around each stage is kind of the challenge, really. And obviously, the faster you move, the higher score you get at the end of the day. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of the challenge here. <laughs> There we are, Let's see if we can get around there, no, ah, oh, nuts. Uh, the virtual stick sort of controls work really, really well. Um, they they are responsive and um, you don't feel like the controls are letting you down, it's certainly your platforming skills that are letting you down, they're certainly letting me down. Let's go to the uh, level select area, you see that there's, uh, if I skip all the way to the end, there's like 36 levels there, there might be some more, but I've only got to level 12, because level 12 is kicking my butt at the moment. Uh, Pentumble is, I mean, I'm playing this on an iPhone 5C, it's also going to be available on iPad, and it's also available on Mac, so that's kind of cool if you're a Mac owner. It's nice to have some games every once in a while, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, we do have a laugh, don't we? We do laugh. Uh, no, but, uh, you know, if you're a, a Mac gamer, this might be something for you as well. Certainly, I've been enjoying it, and uh, we picked up that little key. And obviously, this is just a hands-on, just an early preview for you, really. The game is out August 21st, or at least that's when it's scheduled to come out. Um, so uh, it's not a full review or anything like that, but um, I'm enjoying myself at the moment. I'm really thinking that this is quite a cool little game. It's got some in uh, some innovative platforming ideas. Oh gosh, I'm stuck in the middle. There we are. Can we go around? Yes. Okay. Um, it's got some innovative ideas. It feels a lot like Super Meat Boy in some ways in that it's pretty difficult, but the stages are all quite short. And the controls work really well. So, again, also feels like it in that way. So I'm pretty impressed with a pen tumble. Are you planning on grabbing this one? Do you think that platformers uh, are sort of a... Well, they're sort of a genre on iOS that doesn't often do too well. Isn't it? It's uh, it's kind of difficult to get platformers to work really, really well. So uh, it'd be great to know your feelings on the platformer genre in the comments below. And uh, do let me know if you do pick up Pentumble uh, and uh, let me know what you think of it. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.